Hello, 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 and welcome to another edition of Patrick Math TV. Uh, I'm excited to be diving into our topic today, uh, which is uh, second grade math, and we'll be looking at telling time. Uh, obviously, telling time is a very important concept uh, in our personal lives, in our business lives. Uh, it's important to keep appointments in order to uh, plan for today and for the future. We need to be aware of time and how it works. Uh, to be on time and it's important to be on time to school it's important to be on time to work it's important to be on time when going to meet your friends or uh, going to uh, visit a loved one at the hospital or uh, if you're meeting your banker every in order for society to really function and to uh, to work properly it's important for us to adhere to time and to understand the importance of time and to value the respect of time now obviously day-to-day -day life we are late uh, sometimes sometimes things happen in life and then obviously we you know we call people ahead and we let them know what's happening uh, as to why we can't necessarily make the appointment but the concept of time in itself and understanding it is very very important and so um uh, that is the topic uh, we'll be going over today and now uh before we begin i am very very excited uh to be announcing uh, the release of my website coming up in the next, say about four to five weeks, easymathhelp.com, where i have um, in the process of finishing up of creating customized courses uh, that are easy to understand, easy to follow. They'll follow the uh, methodology of Patrick Math TV, except that now you can own them. You can own these courses uh, and you'll be able to purchase them on um, easymathhelp.com. And you'll have a copy of the you will own the, a copy of the course you'll have it in your hands downloadable after you make the purchase downloadable and yours to keep uh, you can write notes again send it as a gift um, keep it for yourself uh, use it as an instruction manual but I'm very very excited um, to be releasing this and uh, as we get closer to the launch date uh, there will be uh, more details but again um, it'll follow the methodology of Patrick Math TV and you will have a wide variety of uh, math topics that will be covered uh, within on the website uh, for you to access and purchase. And so, and that's it for, for that for now. And so again, um, today we're starting with the concept of time. Uh, we f I found that um, is actually with the syllabus that I, that I follow, uh, the standards that I, the teaching that I follow um, in, in our, my local area syllabus, Time is actually introduced in the second grade. And actually, in my teaching experience, teaching students 101, that is actually the appropriate time to, uh, uh, pun intended, to start teaching uh, students about the concept of time. And so uh, today, uh, we're going to be going over, we'll start with digital clocks, all right? Telling time with a digital clock. So, digital clock. So. If we are given two digital clocks, right? And we've got clock A and clock B, and this one has this time, and this one has this time. And a common question that, that will be asked in coursework, school coursework and on exams is which clock shows two, which, which clock says two, two o'clock PM, right? So looking at the two clocks, we know that clock A shows 2, two o'clock p.m., right? And alternatively, we could be asked which clock shows 5 a.m. Circle the letter in purple that shows 5 a.m. Right here, we circled it in purple. Clock B shows 5 a.m., all right? It's 2 o'clock p.m., 5 o'clock a.m. Basic um, telling of time on a digital clock, all right? All right. So the next clock that we're going to look at is the analog clock, okay? The analog clock, all right? Or I've heard some people use the term face clock, all right? So an analog clock is the old style clock that people have been familiar with since the invention of clocks, all right? So, and with the analog clock, we've got 12 and six down here, got nine and three, one there, two there, Four there, five, got seven, eight, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, approximately. So for this analog clock, 
and we're asked to find what time this is. What time is that? It's four o'clock, right? Our hand is at the 12, excuse me, the hour hand, the minute hand is at the 12 and the hour hand is at four. That's four o'clock, right? What time does this show, right? Let's say, even without the numbers there, what time does this show? You can kind of guess what time this shows, right? Looking at the shape there. What time does it show, all right? If you said three o'clock, you guess right. Because you can tell that's th three and 12 right there. All right, so some time words, right? Some uh, common phrases that are used, right? So if we say, if we're asked for the time and it's 15 minutes after 5 p.m. or 15 minutes after any hour, right? We say it's quarter past the hour. Although I'm, I admit I don't hear too many people here in the U.S. use the term quarter past, but that is, that's the term that is used, that can be used um, for 15 minutes after the hour. 30 minutes, let's say after 5 p.m. or any hour, is known as half past. So it's 5.30, we can also say it's half past five. All right, got it? All right. Then 15 minutes before the next hour, let's say again 5 p.m., is known as quarter two. Now this is a term I do hear used quite often actually, yeah, quarter two. So it's 15 minutes before 5 p.m., it's a quarter to five. Whatever time, right? If it's 15 minutes before 1 a.m., it's a quarter to one, all right? And the same thing applies here. Even if this is 5 a.m., it would be a quarter past 5 a.m. 30 minutes after 5 a.m. will be half past 5 a.m., all right? Got it? Okay. And then the next thing is actually the definition of AM and PM, which is probably what I should have started with, but that's okay. AM. So AM is the time between 12 AM, right? And 11.59 AM, which is just before noon, just before 12 noon, right? AM is the time between 12 AM and 11.59 AM, which is the time just before 12 noon. Right? Or another way to say is 12 a.m. to 11.59 a.m. is the morning. And a.m. is actually abbreviated from the Latin term, which is ante meridium, which translates to before midday. So the a.m., the abbreviation a.m. is from the Latin term ante meridian, which translates to before midday. Okay? P.m is the time between 12 p.m. to 11.59 p.m., right? So from 12, 15, from 12 p.m. in the afternoon to 11.59 p.m. at night, right? And then p.m. translates, in just a second here, p.m., let me get the translation again, translates to post meridian. okay? All right. And that's it for telling time, okay? And again, just be on the lookout, easymethhelp.com. It's our website that'll be coming up. It is, we release in the next four weeks. You can purchase uh, downloadable, customized uh, courses. And uh, the coursework will reach, feature, again, a range of topics um, that you can be purchased, that you can purchase on that website once you purchase that. You own that coursework. Thanks again for your time. Please like this video. Please share this video. And please subscribe. I appreciate you uh, joining today. And till next time, take care.